three. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And for today's roundtable podcast, we got a full crew here. We've got Eric, no nickname Peterson. Eric, how are you? I'm good. Looking forward to boot camp here coming up this weekend. I, same here. Same here. We got Tate, the big papa. I love it when you call me big papa. Litchfield, how are you, Tate? I'm great. Happy to be back. It's great. It's great. Good Good uh, New Year's? Fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. So the fireworks woke up the baby. It was great. Yeah. Look, it's her world. We're all living in it. Yep. Just the way it goes. Mike, the Zen master, Zeno. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> How's it going, Mike? Uh, it's going very good. It's going excellent. Did you breathe in the mailing and breathe out the marketing today? Yeah, we've been breathing in a lot of mailing and breathing out a lot of marketing. It's hitting 2018 hard. 2018 is my year of never missing a day of meditation. I am now two for two. And then last but not least, you know him. You love him. Six Sigma. Scott Todd from scotttodd.net. Landmodo.com. And most importantly, if you're not automating your Craigslist and your Facebook postings, postingdomination.com forward slash the land geek. Scott Todd, a little birdie, told me there's a new course coming out very soon. Yeah, yeah. This is the final week, man. Like final week to register for the live class. It's the Accounting for Land Investors 2018 version. I did it last year. I do it one time a year. I kind of walk you through the entire accounting program. In to in, it's recorded. So if you can't attend live, no problem. But it's going to give you everything you need to to make sure that your accounting is up to up to snuff. I'm going to tell everybody exactly how I even put fourteen thousand dollars tax free into my pocket. Fourteen thousand dollars, Mark. Yeah, you know, I said last but not least, I should have said that about the Bearland Aaron. Bearland Aaron, how are you? Hey, hey, pretty good. I was wondering if you're going to skip me. I would never skip you. I would never skip. No, that. I know. Um, I know. Hey, I got to say, I'm excited for that accounting class. We're already signed up. Yeah, I'm. I'm very excited about it as well. And uh, you know, it's it's one of those sort of unloved things that's so important. Like it's like my last thing that I like to think about with business. But then, come tax time, when you have those nice clean books, there's like no better feeling. You know what I mean? It's like waking up every day to, to a made bed. It just feels good, right? Scott's like, well, you're comparing my accounting class to a made bed? Well, how do you wake up to a made bed? Means well, you, you make your, well, night. you got to make your oh. bed. You, you, make, you go to the class, but you don't, then you know how to make the bed. You know, hospital <laughs> corners and all that good stuff. Got it, got it, got it. You know, okay. you, right. you go to Tate's house, you can, you know, you can bounce a quarter off that bed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good it's all good so before the podcast we were talking about the improvements that we're making to our software systems uh to the community and i thought it'd just be kind of cool to talk about the concept of kaizen continuous improvement and the things that we're doing uh in the community to continually improve and um eric peterson had a genius idea of how to improve our round table podcasts so eric go ahead and Talk about your, your thought that we're going to execute on next week. Yeah. So, um, you know, to, to bring some more, I guess, diversity to the, to the round table in terms of topics and, and so on, um, we want the listeners to submit their questions. Um, hopefully, we're going to set up a voicemail box where you can call and, and leave a voicemail with your question. Um, an email address, and uh, we'll also put it in the Facebook mastermind. So, um, you know, you'll be able to submit questions, comments, um, whatever's on your mind. You know, if you want to stump the coaches or whatever it is, uh, we'd be happy to address it on the roundtable. Bearland Aaron, what, what would you want to see as, uh, as far as like a theme? I like stump the coaches for, for uh, the round table. Anything else? Marketing tip of the no, day? No, I kind of, I think that's day? pretty cool. Uh, yeah. How about that? Um, because 
we're working on a little thing. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but, um, you know, if people have some good reads that are kind of relevant, um, drop those in too. We can mention them on here and, uh, we can add them to, uh, a thing we're, we're doing that's going to kind of collect all that in one. So yeah, if you have a book you love, let us know about it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Zen Master Mike, what, what continuous Kaizen things are you working on for 2018? Well, first I'd like to jump back because I thought it'd be kind of cool. This, if, it, if we take over the next uh, few weeks, um, the round table, or maybe we could do it at one time, but where we kind of like, people probably wonder what we do all day, right? If, we, if, we, if we're not doing the land investing all day long, what the heck are we doing? Like, you know, Scott's flying planes, but he's not flying them all day long. We, we know that, uh, you know, everybody's, so I thought that, that's kind of neat. I think people would be interested to say, what, what are you doing with all that time that you now have because you've automated you put your systems, you've delegated? Um, so anyway. Uh, I thought that would, that would be kind of neat. What do you think? Do people would be curious as to what the heck we're doing? I'm working on magic. <laughs> <laughs> and you're fairly good at it. Fairly. I'm, you look, I, I, you want me to show you a little magic? I trick? saw it in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was some good stuff. Very good. It's good. Stuff. I'm pretty good, sleight of hand. Um, you, know, I, you know what I'm I really, in all seriousness, though, um, I'm working on finishing Dirt Rich which should be out in about 60 to 90 days. And then after Dirt Rich, um, should I tell you guys the title of the new book? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. It's, it's, now th I'm, not, I'm not married to the subtitle, so you guys can help me. It's Coax the Cat, 10 Principles to Cultivate Happiness and Meaning and Fulfill the Promise of Passive Income. Oh, nice. <laughs> do, you, do you like it? It's a, the companion book <laughs> to Dirt Rich. So it's like, okay, you've got all this money. You've got all this passive income. Now what do you do? Right? Right. It's still not, it's because I'm going to make the argument, all that money ain't going to make you happy. And so here are the, the 10 principles that I think will add to that. Scott Todd's like, that sounds pretty woo woo. <laughs> I like that. I think it kind of relates to what you asked me about Kaizen, Mark. I mean, you know what the opposite of Kaizen is really, right? It's what? Death. Inertia? Death. Not dead. Yeah. I mean, if you're not constantly changing, adapting, improving, then you're, you know, to me, that's just, you're just, you're just, you know, you're going in the opposite direction, right? So I think that that's something that we all embrace, this idea of continually improving and changing. And, and I was, sorry, Scott was just giving me, but I didn't mean like we're all going to die, Scott. I was just saying that if we, you know, that it's like stagnation, right? We're going to keep moving, keep our feet moving. Uh, and you know, it's, it's happiness, right? Looking at identifying problems and then solving them, you know? So it's, we take a different approach to it. I think when you look at it from that perspective. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I know Tate is like, I'm going to 10 exit, but you know, how are you going to 10 exit Tate? What kinds of continuous improvements are going to make? You know, we're just going to, it sounds we're doubling down. Uh, Everything we did last year, we're trying to double it, basically, uh, as far as marketing, as far as offers, as far as we're taking the training wheels off this year, and we're just trying to go big, um, bringing on maybe some additional help, looking for more VAs, get more automated, new, new approaches to doing the same thing. I don't know. We're looking for ways to improve within our own, um, our own business, and, and the only way I know how to do that is to do some serious reflection and map out your entire process and, and basically look for the chinks in the armor. So we're spending a lot of time this year becoming bulletproof. That's our number one goal. I want to be able to walk away from the business for weeks on end and still have it run. Absolutely. Scott Todd, what's your, your Kaizen? I know um, you're going to unveil a lot of it this weekend, but if you want to just kind of tease everybody. Oh, well, for first for like LG Pass, you know, like LG Pass, uh, we just recently released an, a new update. Um, you know, we are redesigning LG Pass to actually bring everything in so that you're working right there with one property. And and it's a pretty cool design, which we'll, we'll kind of share at boot camp some of the development that we're making and kind of some of the roadmap. But LG Pass is, is high up there. Landmodo. Landmodo is um, Landmodo continues to grow. That's a big 
platform for, for me. We continue to grow that. Um, Mark, page views in December, about 35,000 page views in December. Um, so that's a, a nice flow. I see the, um, the amount of inquiries that, that are coming in from the properties and every week they're going up. Um, and we've got a lot of, of external kind of uh, advertising. So literally with Landmoto, every dollar that comes in in terms of revenue goes out in the form of some sort of advertising. In fact, it's, it's about, 100 and, about, 100 and, uh, about 150 percent of revenue. So that means I'm going, I'm paying out, right? Like I'm building that platform. And uh, it's kind of cool because right before our call today, I got an email from one of our sellers that said, sold a property on Landmoto. So it's kind of cool when you, when you get that. Um, and so, you know, like Landmoto is a big platform, LG Pass is a big platform. And uh, some other cool things coming down the pike for 2018 that I'm not yet ready to talk about. Yeah, I know that we're making some big uh, improvements into geekpay.io. And uh, speaking of losing money on software, um, but Eric is going to be helping us with that uh, as well in San Antonio, because ultimately what keeps me up at night is does Eric Peterson like geek pay? And when, <laughs> when, when he's like, you're not, you're not developing fast enough. I start to sweat. I have anxiety. It hurts my relationship with my wife. She's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, it's Eric. It's Eric. Eric's geek fault. pay Eric. And she's like, look, you got to get more than two hours sleep a night. You're getting sick and it's a whole thing. But I can tell you that 2018, we're really going to vastly improve um, all aspects of GeekPay and include the integration with LG Pass as well, which, is this, you know, is, isn't, uh, isn't insignificant, right, Scott? It's the year of the jot knot. It's, uh, it's not insignificant, that's right. Right, right. The mastermind community we're going to start improving um, I put out a survey there. We're going to start doing monthly themes. So, you know, this month might just be the theme of closing the sale and adding a lot more content um, and some other little surprises here and there to help with that theme throughout the month. The next theme might be, um, you know, deal flow, right? Processes, uh, the due diligence piece. And, it, you know, and some of it might be based on, um, you know, more, uh, you know, internal metrics like, uh, you know, mindfulness or gratitude, um, those types of things as far as a, a monthly theme, as far as just, you know, not just the nuts and bolts of land investing. So I can get a little woo-woo, right? Tate's like shaking his head. No, I love it. I love it. Right. Bearland, Aaron. Two woo woo, Bearland? No, no, no. I'm just giving you a hard time. All right. All right. So we, we've got lots of uh, improvements down the pike. Um, anything else before we, we move on from Kaizen? That's, see, in, in the podcast world, that's just dead air. It's not good. That's, that's dangerous, Mark. That's, that's really that's dangerous. Very dangerous. That's a pregnant yeah. pause. That was intentional. People, people were grabbing for their phones. They looked out their radio or podcast, you know, listening device to wonder, like, did, did it stop working? Eyes back on the road. Oh, no. That yeah. Was- I mean, the, the last time I was really panicked by any type of dead air was the very end of Sopranos. Do you guys remember the end of Sopranos? And it just went dark. And you're like, what? Is, 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 the, is the cable out? That was a, that was actually a good ending. It was no, it was a great ending, but it went. It was it was kind of like a, an artsy ending. So, um, all right. Well, I think uh, you know we we're all ready for 2018. We've got mastermind improvements coming down the pike. We've got software improvements coming down the pike. We've got land moto platform improvements coming down the pike. Um, we've got our own land businesses being improved down the pike, and all of it is going to. Uh, you know, basically spread out and ripple out through the whole community so everyone can work on their continuous improvement, no matter if they're at a Patamon level or they're getting close to the Scott Todd Yoda level. Um, 
you know, and, and everything in between. Looks so, good. oh, Mike had to say oh, Skywalker. Wow. Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Every, every time, you know, Eric gets another deal from my seller, <laughs> he just. He he just writes Skywalker on a piece of paper. <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's uh, let's move on to tips of the week. Um, Mike Zano, what's your yes. tip of the week? Well, ironically, it's quote. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. But it's not going to be. That Scott always says it's not going to be reminding anybody to breathe. This is. Uh, <laughs> In fact, I'm going to just put my screen over Scott's face as I read this. There we go. <laughs> you, may, you, may, you may shut off my video for you, Mike. I, you know, I don't want to. Uh, I, I went dark for you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So this is a quote from the Buddha, and this relates, I think, to the new year. I love it. Um, there are only two mistakes one can make along the road to truth, not going all the way and not starting. So I think it's a call to action, right? We're all setting goals. Uh, it's going to come down to follow through, right? It's going to call actually being brave enough to take that first step. For some people, it might be the beginning uh, where they're going to start with the toolkit or they may be taking that leap into flight school or coaching. It could be people that have been doing it for a while. They're going to uh, really embrace massive mailings. Whatever it is, just you have to start. And then, of course, follow through. It's all about follow through. So I think that's a great quote that works well with our business. And, Scott, you can come back now. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's. I think that's a great quote. All right. Did you like it, Scott? It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, speaking of speaking of flight school, we got some big improvements uh, coming down the pike, which uh, Scott has not yet approved. But I need a brainstorm with him on. But uh, you know, Kaizen, Kaizen. Not that flight school as as of now isn't amazing. Right, um, but there's a, there's going to be a few sort of wrinkles that uh, we're going to be adding to it. I think. Awesome. Maybe I shouldn't be publicly saying it until I late. talk it's to late. Scott this weekend. Now I feel like I'm in trouble. Now, now you got to tell me now. You can't. You, we got to get can't, off this call. I, I can't. You're not going to be dismissed from this call. Can't tell you. Um, we have to talk about it in San Antonio. After your third margarita. We can talk about it before. I don't need alcohol. All right. All right. Eric Peterson. What's your tip of the week? Today we're going with a book. Um, I'm not sure if it's been mentioned on the podcast. I think probably a lot of people are aware of the book, The Art of Less Doing by Ari Mizell. Um, been going through that again recently and... Um, you know, it's just a great book about building automation and building systems. And um, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, he was actually on the podcast and I was on his podcast. Um, that's, a, that's a great book. I love that book. Um, that's a great, you know what? I hate to say it to start off 2018, but Eric Peterson's got a good quote, good, good tip of the week. I don't know. Mike's, Mike's shaking his head. One for one. One for one. It's a Maybe long year, keep Eric. Some stats this year. What's that? I should keep some stats this year. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did have as a uh, a New Year's resolution a kinder, gentler approach to Eric Peterson's tips of the week. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> well, so you really don't like it? You're just pretending because of your New Year's resolution. I get it. No, no. I I, so I, I really got like, I like that book. Break his resolution, huh? <laughs> I yeah. mean, it's a it's a pretty safe tip of the week. I'll give him that. <laughs> Here we go. But, <laughs> love that softball. Books, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. Bearland Aaron, what's your tip of the week? Before before um, we start to devolve, yeah. uh, it's an iPhone app. <clears throat> I've used this for a long, long time. They just changed the name of it. It's called Toolbox Pro. I think the Pro is obviously the paid version. And what it is, it's not necessarily for business or anything, but it's got all these tools in it that you kind of can use on throughout your daily life that utilize kind of some of the hardware that your iPhone has. 
Um, there's some basic things like a level and a plumb bob and a decibel meter. Um, there are probably like 10 or 12 different functions of this app. It's kind of like a digital multi-purpose tool in your pocket. And, uh, you know, I've used this thing. Um, I had to install a new oven in our house and I couldn't find my level. And I used this thing on my phone and, you know, the eggs stay in the center of the pan. So the, uh, the oven was pretty level. It's a pretty cool little device. Um, you'll find various uses for it you know, here and there, if you just remember that you have it in your pocket, it's, it's a pretty, pretty neat little tool that uses all those gyroscopes and levels and microphones and everything else that your phone has. I know for me personally, I'll be telling my handyman about this, but <laughs> I can't even change a light bulb. Mark, the, <laughs> I, he's, like, he's like a level. I'm like, what's a level? Mark, the, pro the problem is, is that where Aaron lives, they don't have handymen. No, no, they got to take it. man is handy. He's it's a three-day buggy ride. Yeah, see, he's got to, and he's got to get his eggs from his chicken in his backyard. I'll, I'll you know, tell you, you what, can't though. let those things crack, man. If, no, if things, you know, if things start going bad, I'm going to Bearland's house. That guy knows how to survive. <laughs> he knows how to use a level. <laughs> oh man, he's, he's living off the land. He's he's living with a level in his pocket. <laughs> I, I actually had this as a real conversation with my wife today. We we're, were talking about lunch. And one of the lunch places that we like to go to, they have a horrible parking lot. I'm like, why don't we just take an Uber? Like that was literally like the conversation. It was like, so we don't actually have to like look for parking. That's what we do now. We Uber to restaurants. We lift actually yeah. after the debacle in, in Florida mm -hmm. where we were late for the appetizers, there will be no more Ubering. Yeah, oh. <laughs> lift. I meant, yeah, lift. And lift is less money too. Pictures from Scott of devoured food. No more Uber. Yeah. Lift. Ma Mark, Mark, Mark. Why are you not taking your paramotor to to lunch? You and your wife. Like you because I will, I, will, I will be eating that lunch by myself. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then, you know, calling Tate and up and like, what's it like to have 100% of your assets intact? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why. Okay. Um, speaking of Tate, Tate, what's your tip of the week? All righty. So I'm going on a dangerous route here following uh, Eric, but uh, I am actually reading a new book. It's called Grit, the Power of Passion and per Perseverance it's by Angela Duckworth. Anyone read it? I've heard of it. Um, it's in my reading list. It's Melissa's good. read it and she said it was fabulous. It's really good. I'm not yeah. done with it yet. Um, in fact, I only started this week, but I'm really, really liking it. And I'll just share a quick little uh, excerpt from it. It says, enthusiasm is common, endurance is rare. And that can be applied to our business in so many different ways. You know, everybody comes out of this, comes out of the, the gates, full gas, ready to do whatever it takes, get their mailing, and then they taper off and then slowly their Craigslist marketing kind of goes to the wayside and everything else falls out of place. And so you got to remember when you're starting a land business, no matter where you are in this business, it is a marathon. It's all about endurance. You don't want to sprint too fast coming out of the gate because you will wear yourself out. You got to think long-term and, and measure success on your daily accomplishments, right? What, however small they may be. So this is a pretty cool, uh, little read. Um, I really like it. You know, it's just about being, you know, stubborn and, and persevering through the hard part. So check it out. Grit by Angela Duckworth. It's awesome. I'm, I'm going to quote that in my chapter called embrace the suck. Does she ever use that term? Uh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> no. Okay. That's awesome. So Angela Duckworth grit. Yeah. It's really good thus far. All right. That's a, uh, Fair to Midland tip of the week. One of one or <laughs> one of one. I mean, you know, very safe, but yeah. no, good. No, it's good. It's good. Um, let's see who's last. Oh, that's right. Scott Todd. What's your tip of the week? I, I mean, are we letting Mark judge these tips of the week? Like he's the one passing us. I mean, all Come I can on. say is he better have something really good this week. Cause my, I mean, he can't my even use a level. My I mean, tip of the yeah. week is a, is a solid three. 
It really is. It's useful. A solid three. We'll be the judge of that. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. He's looking for Mark. a new already. One of the things that people struggle with is like when they're trying to create like things, documents in HTML that are, it's a very clean HTML. They People like, look, HTML is not that hard to learn, but you know, who wants to learn it unless you already know it, right? So you can always go hire someone to go do it, but look, you have Microsoft Word on your computer or something like that. You could just convert it to an HTML file and be off to the races. But it, an HTML file from Microsoft Word is like very dirty. It's like not cleaned up. It's messy. So check out this free tool called htmlwasher.com. htmlwasher.com. You can either upload your document or paste in your document. And what it does is it removes all of the excess, not well formatted crap. It washes it and makes it nice and clean so you can use it on the web without a lot of bloat or anything else that will bring down your HTML documents. Wow, I, I like this tip. Am I the only one? Yeah, I like it. That's a home run. That's pretty baby. cool. That's good. Okay, it's not a home run. It's a double. It's a, it's it's solid. It's solid. Man, on first. That's man, sure. man on base. Man on base. I mean, you know, is it a is a quote from you know the Buddha? No, but it's good. I think I, I, I don't know. I think Max being really nice because he wants those new changes to flight school. That's what I sense. I don't know. Wow. 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 <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Mark, uh, that was Mike, an incredible I will incredible tip. <laughs> Mike, I will not, I will not be hiding my camera next week when you oh. go to do your quote of the week. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, what do you have? Show your cards. All right. So um for all those of you in my email list, thank you for being on that email list. But occasionally we get somebody who doesn't really want to be on the email list and they will email back something kind of nasty and then say unsubscribe, even though at the very bottom of the email, you can unsubscribe. Um, but, you know, I know that everybody listening to this would never dream of unsubscribing from our email list, but probably other people's email lists, uh, you know, they, they're probably, you know, just, signed up and then it's all, it's all crap and then they want to unsubscribe. So why not automate it with a little robot? It is called unsubscriberobot.com and you forward spam emails to unsubscribe.robot at gmail.com and you get automatically unsubscribed, get you to inbox zero, get rid of the spam and uh, make life a little better. Unsubscriberobot.com. I think that's solid. Eric Peterson? Well, look, nobody's it's even fine. saying anything, so that tells you enough right there. Like, it's just quiet. Like, I mean, that's quiet. That's good because Tate just is like – I mean, I've done it. He, I've done he's it. literally I'm foaming trying. at the mouth, you know, to, 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 to like Mark, pounce. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, this is lame. This is lame. Unsubscribed yeah. you know, tools we've yeah, talked this about is, as tips of the week. So this is, this is lame. better than those? I mean, that's well, the question, right? The real my mind. phone at the top says unsubscribe. Yeah. Why would I need to even forward? It's a wasted step. It's Muda. This is lame. Lame. I'm agreeing there's, with there's got, there, well, there must be a reason it's not lame. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. He's got to download it real quick and, and try it out. Uh, <laughs> it requires no specific access to your emails. Other alternatives require granting full access to your email account or full browser access with hundreds of unwanted promotional emails, a small amount of time and frustration adds up. Saves time deciding which option to take. We always unsubscribe all in typing repetitive info. Easy to use and super helpful. I don't know. I think it's solid. <laughs> well, maybe if you could use it with like inbox and then you could at once because it collects all of those in one folder and send 25 of them at once that would be kind of cool maybe it does that could uh and, and by the way it's free I'm, I'm just gonna hit the unsubscribe link in, on my on my phone it just says unsubscribe yeah me too i mean can we unsubscribe to lame tips or oh, <laughs> oh that hurt Oh. Boy, when, when Bearland Aaron cuts, he cuts deep. I love it. 
Well, Eric hence, Peterson taught me. He, he's the, been giving me a hard time. The, the bear has been released. The bear has been released. There is a line we don't All right. cross. I'm, I'm going to start preparing like – Oh, I'm sorry, like Mike. Did I, did I cross that line? I, there is oh, an, like an unwritten line. We don't – I mean, it, that was Mark. I mean, he, wow. went for the, he, he went for the throat on that one. Eric, just remember, you got to bring a tip next week. I hope you're ready. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, like, like I said, there's kind of this like we do haze each other a little bit, but I mean, boy, we ooh. put you to the test. I'm not sure if you passed. We just gave you the. Hey, rope man, I guess. Wrapped yourself up. I guess up I need it. to ask for a newbie forgiveness. I I don't know. It's open season now. I'm it's surprised that you haven't been removed from this call yet. <laughs> at least muted like at least like, muted or something why my screen black <laughs> yeah you know you know it's funny is like mike zano loves it because this is like his world in the fire department he's like he's like aaron you need to come out to haverhill and hang out with Haverhill. Me for a day. Haverhill. come on Haverhill. man Haverhill. you can't wear this shirt you can't wear this Haverhill. shirt do you we're wear this we're, my... <laughs> we're gonna oh, save man. lives together Haverhill. Haverhill. Uh, Haverhill. Do I have it, Mike? Haverhill. You have, of course Haverhill, you do. Haverhill, Massachusetts. Haverhill. Steve, God, yeah. Do you have pink Haverhill. lights on in your room there? Oh, yeah. I got the lights That's on. just the ambiance. He's setting the mood. <laughs> yeah. My new, work, <laughs> my new workspace for 2018. If you listen really quietly, he's got Barry White playing in the background. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got the Hawaiian music. He's a blue one on the other side. <laughs> yeah. I That's can do cool. that. I, I can control that. That'd be All right, well. Cool. <laughs> I want to I want to thank all the listeners for putting up with our our shenanigans. And uh, look, if you're enjoying the Roundtable podcast, the best compliment you can give us is by doing three three things: you got to subscribe, you got to rate, and you got to review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of the review to support at thelandgeek.com, and we're going to send you for free the ninety seven dollar passive income launch kit. Start emailing support thelandgeek.com the topics and discussions that you'd like Eric Peterson to. Uh, discuss for uh, the next round table and um, you know I just want to thank everybody again we're going to have a, an amazing 2018 of Kaizen continuous improvement lots of great things coming down the pike and uh, with that you guys ready one two three let, let freedom, freedom free. Free. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. That was a little <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on it at boot camp. Our, our new year goal needs to be master that. Yeah. That needs to be the Maybe. round table collective goal. Maybe I, I can't wait. To record it. I, I can't wait to tell you guys the story of my uh, trip to New York. Insane. Mike, are you cold there? I feel cold anymore. I'm Wim Hof. Come on, man. He, even Wim Hof, it's cold there, isn't it? It's cold, yes. Yeah. Are you taking cold showers even in this weather? In the morning, I do. I, uh, I've been Ooh. taking tools of the Titans there, and I love his little morning routine. And just 30 seconds, just a quick. Yeah. I don't think I can do it. I, I did it in New York, and I did it in, uh, <laughs> it's a different on, on my ski trip. It was, like, it was like negative 20. And uh, I'll tell you what, I got out of it. I mean, I, I did it for like a minute. And uh, I was invigorated. And then it feel my good wife. Done. No, it feels good. But my wife, wife looked at me. She's like, why is your, why is your chest all red? <laughs> I'm like, Wim Hof. Wim Hof. <laughs> He's crazy. But uh, all right. Well, I'll tell you guys a story. And when I say you guys, everyone, except for Bearland Aaron, because he won't be in San Antonio. Sorry. It's okay. I get it. Family first. I feel shameful. No, no, don't. Just, you know, it's okay. You'll, you'll be there in spirit. I will sure. be there in spirit. Yeah. Spirit and love was for Mark. Was this something yeah. you wanted to say to Mark here? Was this I, Mark, I sincerely apologize. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it for the show. It's, it was all for show. It was yeah. all for show. It's like that one person who just takes it too far and everybody just looks and goes, what? Man, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to try this. Can I unsubscribe I, from bad tips? No, it was like, uh, it, it's uh, that, uh, you know, it's the, yeah, I, 
It's like when oh, if you had to go to prison, you jump the biggest guy so that you get, yeah. you know, that was my thing. So oh. now, now we're all good. Hopefully, now we know. Now we know, yeah. now yeah. we know the hierarchy. Yeah, now we know the hierarchy, right? And now, and now, and, yeah. and now we know the. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now we know the analogy of uh, roundtable podcast in prison. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> oh, oh my man. gosh. I'm going to get a tip shiv next week, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even want to say what I'm thinking. I don't well, I am, so, Mark, I am sorry. <laughs> don't, don't be. It's, it's, it's great. It's no, great. no, it's and all fine. Look, I, I've, got, I've got thick skin. It's no big deal. And now it's the grovel hour. The grovel <laughs> hour. <laughs> Don't no. me I think for, the, for punishment, he has to go first from now on with tips. <laughs> no way. The first person to go every week. Man. Do you, do you really think I'm going to let the hashtag Team Scott thing ever go? Oh, no. <laughs> Eric Peterson, <laughs> this is a, a year-long adventure. Bearland Aaron is in my good graces. No matter what he says. Embrace the suck, sure. Embrace the suck. <laughs> yeah. Scott, we got, we got to talk about the num- our numbers for uh, 2017. I think they're pretty close. You mean the number of sales? Yeah. Uh, you got them? I don't. You going to lay them down? What's the we enterprise don't, don't value? Right now. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's You're what breaking we're going to work off of enterprise value. Again, right. again, Aaron, you didn't learn the first time, did you? Now he's going after Scott. Jeez. Well, you're number right. two, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. he's going down, man. He's oh, going down. Man. oh, man. You better cut this off. All right, Mark. Let me, I, I'm let me see. there for him today. I, I can pull my numbers right here, right? Like, I know what I did. And let's see what we got here. We did uh, total number of deals. Um, uh oh, something's wrong because oh no, I got it. Okay, two we did in 2017, we did 243 deals, and last year was 198, wow. correct? 198, yeah. So, why, why, why the bump in from 2016 to 2017? Just why the bump from 17 to 18? Uh, yeah, 16 to 18? Uh, no, 16, yeah, 16 to 17. Like 16 to 17, yeah. We got better. You just got better. Yeah, better. 1.1 1. 1. 1 million in enterprise value. Wow. 1.137, 100, uh, 1, 1,137,000 in enterprise value. Not bad. So technically you're a millionaire when your net worth is over a million. Correct. Yeah. Am I thinking about this yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know we did more than that, and so we'll talk about it next week. But see, I and pull I the numbers. The numbers? You on. just talk. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll, I'll get the numbers. I'm not a numbers guy like you. I got hmm. to analyze it, scrub it. But um, that's a. I mean, are you happy? It's a good year. Yeah. Yeah. So, how are you going to grow that for this year? Let's see if we can do 300 deals. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a nice pace, right? You know, like it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a leisure pace in a way. You know, like it's, it sounds aggressive, but when you've done it once, it's not necessarily that aggressive. Yeah. I, I think and, what's, uh, what's, what's more interesting is the uh, ROI on time because you've, you did more deals with less time. I did, yeah. Yeah, less time invested that, in it. Yeah, less time invested. So I think that's impressive. Yeah, I know. From I think there's a balance. You did the same thing, Mike. Yeah, you, did, you did more deals, balance. and then you did it less time, right? With the VAs. Yes, yes. I don't have the exact number. I think we did like over 170 deals last year. So I don't. Nice. But it was not the same enterprise value. It's okay. It's but okay. This year is a new year, and that's why hey, I always say it. Why do I go to boot camp? First of all, you surround yourself with people that are successful, more successful than you. And Scott Todd's always that big brother I'm chasing. So it's worth it. Got to have someone to motivate you. I love yeah, it. Yeah, unfor- unfortunately, I won't be motivating Bearland anymore. Not that I'm <laughs> slapped. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> 
You're my sensei. Come on. <laughs> There's a swipe Bear, back. Bearland's getting getting glitter in the mail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just a warning. Just a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Speak no evil. That's my quote next week. Unreal. I will no longer be speaking any evil. All right, guys. I'm going to go get a breakfast burrito. I'll see you guys in a few days. See ya. All right. Thanks. You need a sushi burrito?